That's why there's no sound. Stand to McGuire's and welcome back to another episode of Mega Mech as we get into the campaigns of the Striking Serpents. And last time, yeah, you have, you should have some. I'm seeing my mic thing go all over the place, so there's no way you guys are not getting sound. I refuse to believe such a thing. Sprog, let me know for real if we have no sound. Hello, Talik. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Hopefully, well. Fingers crossed. Works now? Okay, so we did have a delay. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we're starting a little bit late today. Unfortunately, there was a problem with Warden's mech. Uh, Warden, I'm going to have to do some minor modifications to your mech because apparently I broke the laws of physics somehow. But now that that's been sort of sorted out temporarily, uh, we can get underway. So, what happened last week? Well, Diamondback had a whole metric boatload of missions, and so did Cobra. And Cobra, Diamondback, Diamondback, Cobra, Diamondback. Oh my god, you guys had so many. Luckily this week, that's not going to happen. Uh, we have uh, the big battle that we rolled up at the very beginning of the month did end up going towards Boa Lance, and so they will be taking on a rather large force of enemies. Uh, just regular Tuesday breaking for the season. <laughs> uh, indeed, just, it, it is just a Tuesday. So yeah, the plan will be today to hopefully knock out a convoy of 12 vehicles and uh, all of the eight mechs that are there to also escort them. The game does start you out with several random allies. However, uh, I, I don't like the random allies, and I spent so gosh darn long making those Starlighter regulars that the Starlighter regulars are going to be joining us on this one. Uh, they are the four additional mechs we see here. So hopefully this will be a nice little engagement. Might take a little while, but uh, yeah. Uh, animated five slots of physics. That's one way to look at it. Also, we'll get to see their uh, brand new paint scheme. Not the Starlight Argos, they're just using Oscam right now. Because I haven't actually given them a paint scheme, which... No, I gave them a paint scheme. Oh, I wonder why I didn't, why I didn't carry over. I even used the Starburst icon. <laughs> friends. Yes, for once, you actually have friends to be going with you on this one. So, that actually has 12, 12 vehicles, 12 convoy units, and then one of the... Um, one of the, gosh darn it, what is this, eight mechs to go along with it. And we'll just set up our Star Wars regulars first. That way everything can be just fine. It's a hard Lego knockoff. <laughs> um, I suppose it's it's Lego with way, way less fat on it, because it's a 20-ton mech. And it moves way faster. So really you can just say that the other mech is a fat one. You can go with that one. Yeah, I gave him the Hornet deliberately because, um, well, it seemed to make sense that a startup mercenary company would have something kind of like that. This, uh... Of course, they have an actual useful mech, a fire starter, that will hopefully keep them uh, rock and rolling until the sun goes down. They can lower the music. Yeah, absolutely. So how has everyone's week been? It has been absolutely scorching here in, uh, in the American East as it has been ridiculously hot, over 90 degrees pretty much every single day this week, yesterday. Uh, they were talking about getting 100, it didn't quite make it there, so we didn't uh, get to say, hey, triple digits. Lego light, otherwise known as Mega Block. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that. Oh good, they're placing my units for further finishing. And then of course they have a Vulcan, and Vulcans are terrible. Although it is a 5T, which is, you know, not the worst Vulcan ever. I mean, a whole bunch of medium lasers. Takes off that god-awful useless AC2. Because who needs an AC2? Stormy wet over in the UK? Kind of would kill for rain. Actually, we did have some rain last night. It was like super short and super brutal to the point where it literally killed hornets. I, I was rather impressed. We have Pyro's new mech. Or not Pyro, uh, Warden's new mech, the Bombardier right there. It is the, uh, the Bombardier WDG, formerly the WG, because I messed up the WG. And I'm very annoyed about it. Not quite sure how it ended up happening. I uh, was not here, but shifts messed up my schedule. Uh, slept for 11 hours last night. Oh, that sounds so good. I could go for an 11 hour nap right now. <laughs> we don't really need to spend too much time figuring out exactly where we're going to deploy. We have to get up amongst these people and annihilate them. Anybody that's got the white and the green is the Enduring Convoy Force. And if you've got the tan and the blue, that happens to be the Escort Force. So they're, uh, they're going to hopefully try and put us through our paces. I think we can handle them though. Hello, Greybeard. Welcome to the stream. It has been a while. Uh, 95 to 105 with 60% humidity. Ugh. Sounds like hell. Yeah. See, it's not the heat, folks. It's the humidity. 105 degrees? Not so bad. 90 degrees with high humidity? The worst feeling ever. 
but I can't have my air conditioning on when I do these streams because otherwise you hear the rumble in the background. So, what am I streaks again? <laughs> Where are you, though? They're stringing the combo out quite a bit. Which, you know, can work out quite nicely for us. There's so many mechs to blow. They want to be a So Starlight's people are the lights? Yep. They, we brought uh, the Starlight of regulars, Charlie Lance. So, got a Hornet, a Vulcan, a Panther, and a Firestarter. Of which only the Panther and Firestarter are really actually good mechs. The Hornet and the Vulcan are mediocre at best. Uh, did the refit finish? Which refit? That, that's too broad uh wait till it hits 100 then it gets to us 100 <laughs> humidity is literally raining <laughs> for once i'm happy to be trapped in my house it gives me a bit scorching weather uh need a bladeless silent fan boss they work pretty well and i'm pretty quiet well I, that just because it's gonna blow the air around i need the air cooled and chilled of course have uh the black brand new black knight which is bricks to brand new right it's been a while he's been waiting for it Stream seem to have saved lives. No more skipping. Awesome to hear. All right, so let's actually take a look at what we're dealing with. We've got a Buster Hauler mech, which uh, if Quiji was here, he'd actually be excited about. Uh, heavy hover APC with those rams, armor personnel carriers, coolant truck. Not going to be capturing any of these, but hey, there's always the thought. And these forces are wasps, locusts, got a rifleman, an Orion, and a griffin. The, the Orion and the griffin are actually a pretty decent setup. Yeah, nothing too terrible here. Firestar and Stinger to keep us on our toes. Hopefully the Starlighter I go is to keep them off of us. We're just going to charge right on into them first. There's not much to really plan yet, since we're not really in weapons range. Although that'll resolve itself eventually. 100% humidity is not ranging, it's just the maximum capacity the air can carry. Bah. Bah humbug, I say. Uh, how do we catch the duchy with their pants down? Well, they have convoys moving in and out of Lemnos all the time. And you had your uh, forward scouting elements looking for it. I mean, the Diamondback did, like, what, three missions last week, so they've been doing a hell of a lot of scouting. So, just good, solid intelligence, straightforward, actual recon work. <laughs> We're going to have to actually get you in a range of that, uh, with that Orion. Test out who's got the superior mech. Can we capture a repair truck? Probably not. <laughs> Just gonna go out there, unless you somehow manage to kill the crew. Probably not. Yeah, we got nothing. Nobody's gonna be able to target anything in this. There's just too much of it. We will just chill with that one. Uh, if we capture the fire truck, we can at least have all those firemen auctions to fund the company. It's not a fire truck, it's a cooling truck. All right, unless I missed something. A lot of mechs on the field. It's gonna be so much fun to deal with. Five ish degrees cooler than Florida. Nice. Hopefully less uh less humidity. Oh, this is gonna draw the battle in really tight, unfortunately, because of all these woods. It might be eh, actually no, that's still wouldn't work. There's still too many woods. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a knife brawl. So Sentinel's gonna have a little bit of hard work actually working with that. Uh, the Battlemaster, if I recall correctly, that's yeah, a JGR, and it has a single PPC and a large laser. Not the worst thing in the world. I can work with that to an extent. We'll actually just get him going in that direction. Oh yeah, he's got jump jets, doesn't he? Wait, no, he doesn't. Oh, I thought he did. Uh, I've been playing a bit of KSP and heard they have. They have more explosions than in the last few streams of Mega Chief. Midday rain followed by several hours of sun. I just want a good, solid, old-fashioned rainstorm. Just like massive amounts of rain, massive amounts of thunder. That you can just chill, hang out, and feel like life is just fine. I haven't had one of those in so long. All the rainstorms has been super short and very boring. Mm, we're almost on top of that rifleman. That is probably not the first mech in line that you want to send our way. So, what else we got? Don't need the jump just a little bit. Uh, but you're more on the coast, ain't you? Uh, last time. No, the Battlemaster with jump just was the one I piloted to death in here. <laughs> oh goodness, they came right for us. 
That's kind of hilarious. Uh, I could get the Hornet involved in Mortal Kombat. That might be just funny enough to try. Run mod 3, I'm only going to be picking up 2, so he'll be in an advantage. Can jump, though. That could be a jump mod of just... Oh, it's still going to be a jump mod, too. Shoot. Might not be a good idea to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this locust, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, shoot. I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with more than just locust. I just realized. <laughs> well, that's going to suck. That's okay. It's just a start little regulars. Oh, hi. It's a wasp. I can hit you on a 14. That's, that's probably not going to work for you. You're out of machine gun range. That's for goddamn sure. And SRMs, you're also out of range for. So don't do nothing. Uh, Vulcan could fire with a machine gun. That'd be mostly useless. And a flamer. And all of that. But no target with that one. No shot with a fire starter. No shot with you. You, on the other hand, can cause death, destruction, and medium lasers. Really should pull that hornet out of there. Of course, the locust hits my hornet. He did a 10 and rolled it. I'm not gonna kick. Aha! You missed! Unfortunately, he uh, still managed to do something. Gonna be a close and dirty fight. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got a lot of mechs that are geared more towards a long range engagement, and here it's just forced as far as the eye can see. Might be a better idea just to jump for it. Alright, let's pop the hornet back. Not really a frontline combat mech. It's designed well more for skirmishing. Last 10 years or so have been fairly brutal summers according to locals. Really? So who's the leader of Charlie Lance and are we on comms? Uh, there is an answer to that question. And I could get it for you. So volunteer, volunteer, vol store corporal. I think it's Pat. Unless it's the Hornet pilot. I don't think it's the Hornet pilot. Or it might be Cheryl. One of these two. Star Corporal or Lance Corporal? Higher on the ranks. I forget. But one of those two. Although I think it's Pat. I think the... I think the Panther was the the head of the force. So there is that. Make use of that however you will. If we can't, oh good, we'll actually be able to see things. We'll be able to hit things. Oh wait, no, still don't want to move you. I don't want to move you. Uh, the Black Knight can keep moving. Now. And that'll give you the widest angle to shoot from. I really want to pull that Vulcan out of there though. Charger's going to be able to light things up. That's going to be very beautiful. I think the Vulcan. Oh wait, no, you still haven't moved. Shoot. I'll bring you in. Might actually be able to get a good uh, good angle to fight this buster on. If I can uh, if I can steal that buster, that'll be ideal. But that'll be a little bit difficult. Uh, you're the only brawler, boy. Untrue, sir. For Lorendel travels with you, and Lorendel has some pretty heavy weapons. <laughs> the bombardier really is not designed for close range combat. The the two. The two LRMs are kind of more what you should be leaning on. <laughs> Let's see if I can't move to try and creep that buster out. Oh, good. You pulled back. I'll bounce forward. Super aggressive with him. Let the Marauder just nail on top of the targets. Oh, and the, the Vulcan can hunt the Locust with no fear of reprisal. That'll be beautiful. Because I'm in his blind spot. I think. Wait, no. His arms actually reach anywhere. Oh. Hopefully, we'll have to find out. Uh, Lorendel has an easy time as well. Yep. It's a perfect range to fight at. Alright, damage hello. Select the PPC, select the rifleman. See if we can't get a lucky headshot or something. Uh, I could push for an additional shot from medium lasers, but I'm not going to push my luck too hard. I'm going to try and keep the heat at a reasonable level. Ah, uh, yes. Damage. High low. AC 20. To the face. Small, small, small. 
SRM, because why not? And I don't think I'll need a second SRM to finish him off. And no target GT yet. Gotta get that Black Knight in range. Bombardier can now go twist and engage the Wasp at point blank range with a machine gun, which I forgot to set up properly because I was too busy repairing the laws of physics. But a pair of missiles ought to be pretty nicely accurate. Uh, I should have set the machine gun to rapid fire. Unfortunately, I forgot to do that, and I'm kind of kicking myself for it. Hello. Medium lasers. Let's see if I can't rip him open. That. Just a machine gun. How will be done? Because burst fire MGs allow you to do some really fun fun stuff. Medium laser. Actually, I'm just... Laser and then medium laser and a pair of smalls. A lot of fire. I'm not going to use that much fire, but I could. Uh, that mech is not made for close range, even on the Ran. Sorry, I assume you mean. Somebody had most losses close range on this. What if I found the rules of the game? <laughs> exactly. Uh, what looks big? Panther with a fairly solid shot on anybody he wants. I might just take that nine. I could take the seven, and I don't really need much to hit on a civilian mech, so I'm gonna assume the fire starter has it handled. And then let the Hornet also, I suppose, get in on the fun with a medium laser burst. Good fire LRMs, but everything's too close. Uh, the whole scenario? Sorry, I had to finish out the battle on the effects in PTA. Yeah, the scenario is uh, one of the big battles, according to uh, what they seem to think. All right, so the Bombardier already has been shot by two enemy shots. Hopefully he will be able to respond in kind. Uh, Marauder does manage to hit one of those PPCs and blew off the searchlights, so not terrible on that one. Like I said, the Charger missed everything at the Locust. And the Bombardier did manage to hit with one of his SRMs, not horrible. Uh, Rifle Motor Transfer does absolutely nothing. The Vulcan rips into that Locust and opens up an arm, which is pretty nice to have. And our fire starter just unloads on this buster. And I don't know if that buster is going to live or not. His engine might even stall. I forget the full criteria that I need to have in order to see whether or not a civilian mech suddenly stops working. I'll throw a punch from the Charger. Needs an 8. Not too terrible. Punch from the Bombardier. Needs an 8. Not too terrible. And the Vulcan can just give him a full-on boot. And the Panther we will add into the gang up with another free punch. Two nights. Oh, yes. So the Charger manages to put the stomp on that Wasp's leg, which... Completely destroy. Oh no, the Bombardier does, not the Charger, which completely blew it off. So that's going to make the Wasp very easy to kill. Uh, the Charger did hit his punch on the right torso, so not awful. Uh, Bombardier did get kicked. It looks like the Buster managed to miss his swing. And the Panther managed to punch the Locust quite hard. So enemy Locust drops, obviously, and our Bombardier manages to stay standing. Uh, my Clinton Sarasso, 11, 11 to. 11 slash 2 scope. Oh, one and a half scope. The, with two Motor Kings, two Shreks, and SRM Care. And Clinton Storm. That sounds like it'd been fun. Alright, so the Locust's leg is off. I guess the Wasp. Did the Wasp just lose an arm then and not a leg? Uh, yes, that's, that's what happened. Okay. I can work with that. Somehow. And we'll do a nice little jump over here. Keep the mech relatively protected. And we'll see if we can't sort of skirmish along the edges with some of the vehicles using our LRM-5. It's really how the mech is more designed to be used. Not like straight on in, let's smash into our enemies. Let's smash into our enemies has its place, just, just isn't it. And you're probably not getting up. I mean, if you do, great, fair play to you, but I kind of don't think you're going to pull it off. Just gonna go out on a limb. That doesn't work. Uh, Wasp lost the full torso. Nice. Solid punch. I wonder what that Phoenix Hawk does before I step him out into the open. Because the Rifleman still can hurt. I mean, people like to mock the Rifleman, but it can still alpha 26 damage. And it's not that hard to do for a couple of turns in a row. Jump on over here, see if we can't threaten the Heavy Hopper APC. 
Although if the heavy hover is at all intelligent, it'll just zip off as fast as it can. And the Vulcan. The Vulcan's really just probably going to hang out over here. And that'll put me in a pretty nice position to fight all of you. That'll be great. So if Bo kills all enemies, do we capture the civvy vehicles? The mission is to destroy the civvy vehicles. So whatever's left after you annihilate it. Why, is there something specific you wanted to say? George. <laughs> yes, that, that's exactly what Lord Nell does. That's why he's in this mech. I uh, can't see the rifleman, but I, if I were the rifleman, I would not step out from behind cover there. Alright, let's see how good your shots are. PPCs. Pretty nice. Step one to the side, just so I'm moving. Otherwise I'll get a, a stationary uh, bonus, and that's just not fun. But I'm not going to be able to get three anyway. There's no point in gaining it. Yeah, how have you been, Lorndale? I know that you've been super busy with life, work, and the rest of reality. Uh, save your vehicles kind of sleep? Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out at the end of the mission. <laughs> okay, the Wasp has decided it no longer wants to play this game. And he's leaving. Kill the civilians? Well, it's technically not civilians. It's the convoy. If, if your moral sensibilities are offended, then don't worry. They're not actually civvies. They're just convoy people. You can kill convoy people without caring. Them's the rules. <sighs> really, there's no way I'm going to get a decent shot on you. I mean, I could chase after the wasp, but I, I feel no reason to do that seem like a massive waste of my time about like that get the bombardier moving pick up that three uh it's gotta pay the bills and being self-employed you gotta do everything yep oh yeah yeah that, that look is just completely pointless <laughs> prone and immobile with an unconscious pilot probably not his best day when ppc strikes uh, it's... I could. I could burn hard. I don't think I'm going to bother. Battlemaster has a similar capability. Fire the 8. Needs a 10. That also needs a 10. But, you know, also does need to die. I'm mode with a couple of bursts from the medium lasers. Oh wait, no, he has a large laser as well. Let us not forget all of his armament. So, PPC to the face, followed by a large laser to the face, and that'll keep him pretty much settled for, for total. Charger obviously can't hit the Locust because the Locust is behind it, however our vehicle has stepped forward. So let's go kill this vehicle. I don't know how heavy you are, but I do want to fire the AC-20. And then I'd like to double tap with the SRMs. And yeah, we're getting really toasty, but that'll be fine. Uh, coup de grace on the Locust? Pretty much. Are those little fires on the fire starter's barrels? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what that is. Uh, running after the dog, she pulled me over fractured and had... Have it in a wrist support? Wait, you, you've you broken your wrist? Oh, you guys. We've got broken hands and wrists all over this community. Hopefully you get better soon, man. I get the Black Knight focus over here. That might actually work out better. Is it, yeah, that's an 11. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Fiend, that's a 7. We'll see if you can't plant an AC-20 right in the center of Thursday. Just for giggles. Fiend, not happening. SRM-6s. Sevens. Throw those on in there and have a ha fun day. Uh, my no dog knows what she has done and won't leave my side. <laughs> Loyal pets. Vulcan is going to go fight this Buster because, Buster, you need to shut off. And the fire starter is probably the last person that you want to meet in this sort of situation. But we'll go with a pair of medium lasers on. Uh, we'll go with a pair of small lasers on that one. 
because I mainly think that other mechs will take care of the problem for us. Uh, Panther apparently is in a bit of a close range battle with the Phoenix Hawk. I didn't want to be here. Go away. Save your lines, mate. Oh, you can't because as much as this looks like a road, it's actually multiple forests. Um, pulling some lines. <laughs> oh, well, he just broke my mouth. Jake's fan base is as injured as my course of play. So it would seem between him and Redgar, people are just not having luck with the wrists. <laughs> what, that you're having difficulty drawing now? Hmm. So Sentinel managed to nail both of his shots. Uh, center torso and right leg. So we're opening up the rifle pretty nicely. Got a third PPC on that rifleman even. And the large laser struck through. So he's having a really bad day. Charger came by and immediately picked off the armor personnel carrier. So that's the first of 12 targets to destroy. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk opened fire on the Panther and missed absolutely everything, which is lovely. Did actually manage to get another hit from the SRMs. His right leg is open from the Bombardier onto the Rifleman. Rifleman hit the Marauder once with an AC-5, so I'm not all that worried about that just yet. And it looks like the AC-5 off the Buster has managed to strike the Bombardier. Uh, rifleman stays standing despite the fact that he got really lit up off of that one. I'm going to give you a kick to see if I can't trip you. Yes, 8 is not good, but who cares? Need a 1 to hit that one, and you're going to sort of play Kung Fu with him. All right, so the Vulcan hits the leg of the Hallermark, which is great. The Phoenix Hawk manages to kick my Panther. The Firestarter manages to kick the Locust and blows off the left torso, which is great. Uh, the Hallermark falls over, which is beautiful, because now the Hallermark might actually shut down because of this, and that would be... Aha! He did! Engine installed. And the Panther manages to stay standing because he was kicked and didn't fall over. I would have referred you to the Jenkin verse on Reddit, or whatever you wish to find a wonderful reading of Death Rollers. Interesting. Oh, another Buster mech. Well, I'm kind of hoping this happens because if the mech, if it's stalled, it's not working, and if it's not working, it's capturable. So we don't need to take care of him if that's at the end of it. And suffers two criticals due to falling one level and hits his AC5, which is beautiful. So he's immobile, prone, and shut down, which is a hell of a system combination that you really don't want to happen to you. Uh, forgot we have a fire beam as our hauling. Exactly, so we're going to steal this buster mech, and then Quijibo will shut up about it. <laughs> and I didn't even have to roll up. Uh, the buster rolls snake eyes? Yup. He's having what we call a bad day. I'm having a slightly less bad day. So there's that. All right, Hornet, continue to do Hornet things. I kind of find it kind of funny that the Stinger and the Wasp both look somewhat similar, and then you have the Hornet, and it just, there's no connection there. Uh, Death Worlders, apparently there are a lot of Cradle Worlds out there, ranging from Class 1 to Class 9, where life is paradise, Class 10 and above worlds, with heavier gravity with climates and fauna that will murder you. Is Industrial barely even able to take medium laser fire? What, the, the Hauler mech? Yes. But Quiji wants one, so he's going to get one. Hell, even Rekgar could have it, because he loves ice engines and the Buster has an ice. Didn't say ice engines. Internal combustion engine engine. It's a terrible, terrible idea. Yeah, and just have you sit there, Coup de Grasse. Just keep playing with him, he'll be fine. Where is my Black Knight? Black Knight wants to be where Charger is. Well, he can't be there, so we'll go there. Where are you going, friend? What's your plan of attack? I'd like to just stand still to beat up on this buster, but I can't because of the Phoenix Hawk. He's preventing me from doing cool shit. We will have to demonstrate to him why he needs to stop doing that. I'd like to get into a good place to outrange the rifleman. That'll do. If he doesn't move, he's gonna get rained on very, very hard. Uh, yeah, I see engine fuel hog just capture it, refit it back to stock. I'm happy with it. Why would I waste a perfectly good fusion engine? 
could just throw the Battlemaster into his teeth. That might be funny. Hi, deal with the Battlemaster. You won't. That will leave you still. Charger will set up like so. This is not a great situation for the rifleman to be in. <laughs> Our little Hornet better be careful. He's got some real nasty customers coming. I have no idea what you guys are talking about at this point. Something about planetary colonization. <laughs> The finish hook bell. Where did he go? I'm missing something. Where is that Phoenix hook? Oh, there he is. Ah, that's not good. So I've got to get a line of sight on this target. Second land. Didn't quite figure he had that shot, but apparently he does. All right, welcome. Go deal with him. I don't want to deal with him. I kind of have to. We'll get back to the Buster Mac later. Talk about removing the AC and give it a cargo hauling. Oh! Because of Flash? Yeah, he jumps pretty well, don't he? And the rifleman just charged right on in, didn't even give a crap. Okay, that's not gonna work for me. I'm not letting you through this blockade, you know that, right? Just Good aim for your head. Needs a 13 for that, yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, that's probably also not happening. Tens? I hate it when the game is like that. I understand why it's like that, I just hate it. Well, that's what I got to shoot. See if you can't have some luck with that. Uh, charger. Similar problem, no chance of actually hitting. And the Black Knight has a... apparently... Just flat out... oh, there it is. Yeah, 13 still not gonna cut it. Bombardier, your target has run away from you, so you have no target anymore, which is unfortunate. And the Vulcan... Try to do the anime thing. Not really equipped for it. Machine gun... Let's away with that. Twist with you... And just fire pretty much everything we've got. Oh great, we can't. Well, if I can't get away, then just needle him until he explodes, please. Panther has positioned himself well for this. And she'll fire up your PC. Meanwhile, my little Hornet is getting mobbed by someone tiny. Give me the lasers all I got. All right, well, we're finally through and causing damage. So the Marauders managed to open up the left torso on the Rifleman, which is nice. Uh, Battlemaster didn't do a whole hell of a lot to the Rifleman, but we kind of expected that. Hmm. Phoenix Hawk has hurt my fire starter badly, and I'm not happy about it. Figure is blazing with the Panther. Did actually manage to touch us with the machine gun. Starting to envelop us. I think we got to pull back a little bit further. Unfortunately, that Rifleman's still standing. Which, you know, shouldn't be. Black Knight will give it a punch. And then we'll give it a nice little kid. We'll punch him. Never mind, couldn't hit any of it. It was a 13 needed. E with a minus two. So, Phoenix Hawk has managed to kick my Fire Starter, which sucks. Fire Starter stayed standing. Stinger kicked at my Panther, missed, and also stayed standing. Fire Starter kicked the Locust, and two structure remaining in the CD. So we did manage to get away from that. Hey, the engine's restarted. Well, we're probably not going to get that now. Well, because they didn't get up now. Third head hit. Ah, uh, he could. I'm not going to count necessarily anything out. Alright, Hornet, jump back. I mean, theoretically, the, the Phoenix Hawk could show up behind me. But I'm gonna sort of hope that he can't. 
Where the hell did that bug get in from? Uh, it's only a 7 and 3. Yep. Could get up. That's a 55% chance. Not too terrible. Hmm. I don't like them being this close to me. Because it means I actually have to pay attention to them. Because they're just initiative seeking all these people back here. Which is wasting time. I can't read anything. Uh, oh well. I mean, kind of want to go through it. Bombardier, I need to get into some position to actually be useful. It's too heavy of a mech to just be sort of wandering off on its own. It's too light to actually, like, fight off on its own. Come in here. Let's charge after this rifleman, see if I can't cause some havoc to him. Would you just die? <laughs> he's sitting here just doing circles because he knows that he's completely pointless. He's waiting for a good opportunity. Jump and turn. Let's start getting this party started with Mr. Higgs. Buster's prone, but he can stand up without too much trouble, I imagine. Well, will put the Black Knight behind him. Actually, no, I want to put the Charger behind him. Because the Charger has further to travel, and therefore we'll actually get some evasion out of it. Battlemaster would follow after. But I need to know what the rest of the enemy force is doing. And that hasn't happened yet. Harass this Firestarter. My Marauder's probably just going to continue to hound him. That's sort of what role I want him playing. Just beating up on the one heavy mech that they currently have here. Boss is doing Donuts of the Forest pretty much. It's some really good painkillers. And I don't want to move any of you so that I can actually plan for other things. Which I suppose is sort of the point, but it's certainly an annoying point. Uh, fire starter is badly damaged but able to make the distance. I don't think he can catch up to me. And he can't, okay. Did, did you seriously just do that? I mean, if he seriously just did that, I'm um, gonna seriously just do that. So that Phoenix Hawk might be dead. Um, Vulcan. for the buster, but no, I will go after you. I will step on this locust. That oh, buster's still confirmed, and you are not getting away. And you know it. Okay, so let's step out here. Turn one. And he's gonna suffer. Uh, can you please tell Shay to check his Discord? Hey Shay, check the Discord. He indeed seriously just did that. Yeah, that, that's a dead Phoenix Hawk right there. I mean, maybe not, but I'm, I'm inclined to believe he's about to explode. Battlemaster is up, able to play on his own. I originally just sent him up here to play with the, with the Firestarter, but... I mean, if you're gonna give me free shots on the back of your super important convoy vehicles, then... Well, I'm gonna shoot you. A lot. Could have you. Oh, oh, this is too too cruel. I'm gonna do it, but it's too cruel. Know that I'm committing war crimes. Small, small, and a yes, sir. And then you are gonna target the Phoenix as well. The odds of us hitting are not great. I I will fully admit that. But they're what I've got to play with at the moment. 115, not in the range to really take advantage of that. I mean, the buster is a 9 at the moment, but probably be SRS. Huh, maybe not. Oh, there we are. Yep. SRM 6, double tap into his back. It's only more crumbs if you lose. <laughs> Should have been the kidneys. Well, we'll see what you end up coming out to. Uh, you, Senator Torso, just, just turn this guy into slag. I have no interest in keeping him alive. And then the Firestarter is very much on his own. As is the Panther. 
Both of them moved into a position to try and support others. I could start spotting and using my LRMs indirectly, but the accuracy is generally pretty crap anyway. Uh, you can't spell bow without work. But <laughs> the definition of work is... <laughs> it's not something to be proud of. Hmm. That sucks. The fact that he rolled his single four on a PPC shot. So a bit of wasted heat on that one. Valiant Master managing to hit with a pair of medium lasers. I actually opened up the armor. Double tapped in the same location. That's pretty nice. Uh, it's probably not going to help us for a while, though. Phoenix Hawk hits the Black Knight a couple of times. Nothing too serious. Charger fires everything. Misses everything. Uh, the Black Knight fires everything and hits with an SRM. Is it not horrible, I guess? Oh! Oh, you so... That ain't cool. That's a through armor critical onto the Marauder. So a uh, perfectly aimed AC5 shot. Marauder now is going to be generating what? Like three heat per turn? <laughs> that sucks. Ugh. On the bright side, we did manage to blow off the leg of that rifleman, so he's going down. Uh, the Vulcan has also managed to destroy the Locust as we expected. Machine guns and like firing at the Battlemaster. Nothing special. Storm was your edge? Storm has used his edge, man. Uh, I will express my discomfort and irritation by smashing that. I'm going to punch you in the face at 11s. Clearly that's not going to work, but man can dream. 8s, perhaps. Uh, Battlemaster. Kicks. Automatic hits. Did some decent damage. Uh, the Feeding Sock kicks my Charger, and then the Stinger kicked my Black Knight, and then all of our melee attacks missed entirely, which was annoying. There's someone's house. Is that a house? Does that look like a house to you? No, it looks like a tank. My wrist and eyesight is shut. <laughs> yeah, that Marauder's gonna suck. He's got 14 heat he's carrying over. We're gonna back up nice and carefully like. The building? Yes. Yes, we did. Why not? I see no reason not to kick buildings. Can we have one nice and around? The other one don't suck, get a feeling of fair amount of Uh, why did Storm not edge reroll? He doesn't have any edge. Renard can't fall through if it's collapsed. Exactly! Where are all of you people gonna go? I can't just gang up on this rifleman. He's got no leg and he doesn't have very good arms, so let's just run right on top of him. He can use one arm to fire a large laser, and also this might end up baiting the Phoenix Hawk to go after my Vulcan, which I can work with. Is that possible? Yes. Why would that not be possible? Can we take a look at Adder Sedge before we fly? <laughs> Okay. You guys do use a lot. It's kind of par for the course when trying to keep yourself alive. Horror and terror and death. Which, as we all know, comes for you. Give me a shot down that corridor. That might actually be pretty fun. Might also, you know, incline the Phoenix up to jump after us. Maybe? Today it was a paratrooper and just about 100 items, and everything was broken. Where'd that thing start go? Son of a bitch. He did exactly what I thought he would. Okay, maybe not exactly, but close enough. Good enough for our work. Back now then. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Brick can save the day. Bombardier. It's going to just back up into a nice, comfortable location with which to just shoot the irrelevant crap out of the things off. Or raise it doesn't have edge. Um, you should have one cipher, at least. Sparrow and I compare notes from time to time just to see if we have one functional point between this. Well, that stinger's in a nasty place now. Because that, that fire starter already has an open torso on the rear. 
Stinger, I believe, has a machine gun on it. It'd be nice for him, too. Doesn't change things in the long run, I suppose. Okay, well, let's put an end to your misery here. So I don't have to worry about playing around you. Did you fly? Wow, okay. We're just gonna light up the... <laughs> We're going to light up the ever-loving life out of this fire starter. It's going to be great. Um, I'm really tempted to do that, but I'm not going to. Skip to the medium lasers. An 11? Really? I need less to hit the guy who's in front of me with a force between me and the target of medium range brackets than this guy point blank range. Ooh, never mind, I don't have any heat available to do anything with. Well, that ain't gonna be a thing. PPC would be reasonably accurate at his range, which is more than a little amusing to me. 30 uh, plus 11. Plus 11 is... Minus 2 movement points, plus 1 movement modifier. Or weapons modifier, that's fine. The ranges we're playing, that ought to be great. heavy weapons in him. See how he enjoys them apples. How are you so evasive? Let's see if I can't force this guy to, to surrender to me. Eight's because of him being him. Uh, Vulcan could shoot a tube. Yeah, more likely we're just gonna spam fire medium lasers into your chest. And hope that works. More medium lasers and small lasers, because why not? Throw a flamer for good measure. So all the pain going out on that one. APCs managed to slip within melee, close ish range. First fire an SRM into him. And the Hornet can lob an LRM over to hover APZ for a 16. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just get up to 30 heat with a battle master. Good work. You're only plus 11. No complainings. I checked. Uh, and you managed to hit pretty much every target on the on the fire star, so he's gonna have to make a check. That's beautiful. All right, Charger manages to get the rifleman, blows off the right torso, so that's nice. And left arm he is exposed. The stinger. Managing to hurt my fire star, but not in a way that I care about, so that's okay. Buster hitting the LRM tens on the Marauder, who didn't move all that fast, so I can't really say anything about that. And does manage to hit some SRMs onto the Phoenix Hawk from the Bombardier. That's nice. Oh! Wow. Sentinel's dead. So that's the thing. So I want you to take a good look. All of you people who laugh at the rifleman, who mock the rifleman, who say the rifleman's not good. This right here is a big old screw you. <laughs> oh, life is cheap. And when you can roll two headshots in a row, man. Large laser into AC5 into cockpit. So yeah, uh, that's that's pretty nasty. Storm, are you do not resuscitate? If Storm's even in the chat, <laughs> can't believe he didn't have edge. I mean, he doesn't have edge. He doesn't have edge. He just suffered three critical hits that would have made edge very useful. But oh, he said, yeah, he must have already used it. Oh yeah, you need two to redirect a hit. You need two. He's only got one. Oh. Yeah. Gone. Marauder destroyed by damage. They left. <laughs> they left at their corpse. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Sentinel dies and Terry uses a Sentinel to point out how the, <laughs> the rifleman is. Hey, I get all kinds of shit for liking the rifleman. But yeah, um... 
I don't recall if Stormwind is DNR. He's not currently labeled as DNR, so I'm going to assume he'll come back. He's only losing 10 XP. That's not horrible. If he does come back, he could be DNR. Uh, time to pray for SNR. Yes, the SNR Rukai thing. There is that. Alright, so, uh... Left Taurus on the Rifleman's... Yeah, there, there's nothing left of this Rifleman. Just completely butchered and destroyed. All the heavy weapons fire into it. And then the fire started lights up his ammo. So at least you got a fireworks show out of it. Not terrible at all. Enemy fire starters stay standing, unfortunate. Uh, I could give a boot to you. I might give a boot to you. Oh, you're only a three. Yeah, gotta boot you. 17 damage? Absolutely gonna boot you. Uh, let's not stomp on the mech warrior. That's, that's against the rules. Alright, so the battle master blows off the left leg of the fire starter. Beautiful. That'll pin him down quite nicely. And then the battle master was kicked and missed. Or no, the bombardier was kicked and missed a kick. But managed to stay standing because, you know, pilots that are good can continue to stay standing. And we picked up their pilot so they can't even initiate a sync with that one down swing. Oh, she's that guy with Homeland, some of <laughs> for Great Fireworks Show and Revenge. Pretty much, uh, yeah, alright, we'll put in a YouTube cut. A little bit short in actual record time, but, yeah, that's for complications. Oh, by the way, something that I wanted to bring up, totally forgot, because, you know, the little bit of delay getting started going. We're now part of the YouTube Partnership Program, where, uh, they allow you to actually join channels and that sort of thing. It's basically like Twitch subscriptions, except for YouTube. Uh, I'll be making a video about it, fingers crossed, sometime in the near future. But yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't want to like subscribe on Twitch and join on that sort of thing, uh, we now have levels of joining that you can find right down there. And yeah, uh, depending on the three levels, gives you little perks and quirks and extra extra stuff. Be part of the YouTube army and that sort of thing. So yeah, if uh, you're looking to get involved in that, press the join button and you can hang out on uh, on YouTube. Meanwhile, these people on Twitch. We'll get, a, we'll get a rivalry going. The Twitch people versus the YouTube people. So if you ever wanted to stick it to the Twitch people, now's the time. All right, so uh, to my YouTube folks, we're going to put a cut in here for you. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been saying, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every single time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Put an F in the chat for our lovely and talented Sentinel. And I will see you all in the next episode.